we want to give a special thanks to Zuru for sending these products to us for free. What's up, doll collectors and gift givers? Here is another My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide, which totally comes in handy for the holidays. Today, we are taking a look at Zuru 5 Surprise Toy Mini Brands. What? Are you telling me we are going to get mini brands that are toys? Well, you know, they've always actually been toys, but now they're going to be themed after toys? What are we doing standing around? Let's open this up and take a look inside. Ooh, we've got mail. Zuru 5 Surprise Toy Mini Brands. Yes, the rumors are true. We've minified some of the most iconic toys ever. Unwrap the capsule, peel back the seals, and find which oh-so-many toys are hiding inside. Will it be Jojo, a Rubik's Cube, Angelica from Rugrats, or Spongebob? Y'all, I get really excited about mini brands. So, yeah, just a warning. Oh, yeah! Come on, I love toys, I love mini brands, and they've just combined the two. Christmas came early, y'all. And it's time to unwrap some toys. The packaging looks pretty standard. It says Zero 05 Surprise Toy Mini Brands. Then on the side, it says 60 plus minis to collect. Wow, that's a lot. On the side, it says unbox all new mini toys. So excited for that. And we have a little zipper here with a perforated edge. All we have to do is peel that back without destroying our freshly painted nails. And oh, I did it. Now we're going to remove the outer layer, remove the inner layer, peel off the seal and it opens. Peel back the wrapper and we have a shopping cart. Okay, well, it's a different color. There are instructions. All right, so uh, this goes right here. And this one goes right there. And then this goes on the side. This goes under here. And the little flag goes right there. And you're done. Happy assembling. Now that we have the cart, Show me the toys. Our first one is Buncho Balloons. This is where you can fill a hundred balloons in 60 seconds. Cool. It's printed on the front and on the back. Then we have, oh, is this a Frisbee? It is Whammo Frisbee, all sport. So this is like an actual Frisbee in there. It looks like we could totally open this if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. And look, there's a tiny barcode. <gasps> what? Then our next one, that looks like Rugrats. Oh my goodness. We have a teeny tiny Angelica from Rugrats. She's really in there too. So if you got doubles, we could possibly open them. Okay, okay, but I'm not gonna do that right now because this is like my only one and the packaging is so cute. One more surprise. And, ooh, that looks like one of those little rainbow corns. What? It is a rainbow corn. This is super small and I'm not sure if there's anything inside. And I'm not willing to take off the wrapper to find out. So we'll just have to appreciate it how it is. There is a collector's guide so we can see all of the items available. There are super rare gold items, rare glow-in-the-dark toys, rare metallic toys. Then at the bottom, we start to see the common toys. Personally, these are my favorite because they're gonna look like the toys we actually know. Flip it over onto the back to see more toys. We've got that, that, and that. And Angelica is all the way down here. They also have paper bags, a rolling basket, a shopping cart, and a display. Let's open another one. Ah, uh, I totally messed that zipper up this time. 
but that won't stop me from opening the surprises. To be honest, I just want toys. What's that? Oh, that's a basket. I mean, yay, it's a basket. <laughs> More mini instructions. So we can put the basket together. This basket is super tiny, but you can put a few things in it, so it works. Show me the toys. Here we have another collector's guide and Crayola washable tempera, which is pretty much paint. We have the primary colors and the bottles are fused together. What I really want is that mini brands ball, but that is a rare, so my chances of finding it, pretty slim. But we are eternal optimist. So let's just keep trucking along and we've got our first double. Okay. Which isn't a bad thing. Remember, because if we're making stores, we can totally use these to stock the shelves. And I said if I found a second one, I would take a quick look to see if we can actually open it. So this side is taped or glued down? It's taped, so let's try the bottom. Oh, that opens. And inside, <laughs> we can actually take it out. Okay, and then that opens up like that. And a little mini figure. Can we get Angelica out? Oh, we can! And it's a real little mini toy that I can put right back. Good as new. Ooh, and I want Bobby the Booty Shaking Llama and the Robo Alive T-Rex as well. Like it really matters because these are surprise bags and we're gonna get what we get. Here is a baby monkey fingerling. Pretty cute. And on the back, we have lots of little information including those so cool barcodes. I really do love all of the detail going into these. And the last surprise for this one is, ooh. Zuru 5 Surprise Unicorn Squad. Now that's pretty cute. It looks just like the little balls, but it doesn't open. But that's okay, because it's gonna look great in the dollhouse. We are opening a total of nine mini brands, and this is our third one. Aw oh, man. Come on, Boppy the Booty Chicken Llama. And what is this? Come on. It is not Boppy. We have Nickelodeon Slime Hyper Blaster Pack. There's an actual little toy there, so you could totally remove that if you wanted to. There's a little plastic piece holding it to the back of the packaging. So yeah, pretty cool. But we want Boppy! And that is not Boppy either. Okay, here we have an X Shot Reflex 6. It's a little toy. And I don't think they actually want you to remove that from the packaging. I'm not gonna try. Then, this is Crayola Washable Glue. Okay, so we have like crafting supplies. I am totally cool with crafting supplies. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Yeah! It's Bobby the Booty Shaking Llama. This is pretty cool because I have one and now my mini Toya can have one as well. We're gonna build her her own toy collection. This is so much fun. You can see that it's an actual toy in there. Little window on the side. On the back, there's some more cool stuff. All right, so now all we need is our T-Rex. Is this it? Right here? If I can pull this back? It's not. It is a hair bow from Jojo Siwa. I really like that they take the time to decorate the back. That is so cool. Ball number four. More art supplies would be really cool. <laughs> I totally called it. This is really difficult to get out. Wait, there we go. Watercolors. It doesn't open, but that's okay. It's going to look great in the dollhouse. Next up, we have 
another shopping cart. Moving along. I still need my dinosaur. This is not a dinosaur. Or is it? It is. It's called Smasher's Epic Dino Egg. So technically it's a dinosaur. There's a little green bone sticking out of the top. And you can see all these little images on the back. And here we have another bow. It's the same bow. And then this is, what's that? It is Ready to Roll Blaze Speedway. It's a paperboard box of a little car. Number five. Really excited to see what we get this time. Ooh, that's a large box. And it is another dinosaur, but it's not quite the one we were looking for. But it's still really cool. It's like a robot dinosaur. And this little door opens and you can actually see it inside. Look at all that. That's so cool. I absolutely love dinosaurs. Going to the museum is like one of my favorite things to do. And here we have a Rubik's Cube. This looks smaller than the world's smallest by Super Impulse. Not sure if it is functional though, but it still looks pretty cool. And behind this door we have, ooh, art supplies. Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Markers. There aren't any markers actually in there, but this is really, really cute. Totally gonna use this. And behind door number five, we have more bunch of balloons. Yep. Yo, I totally can't count. That was door number four. We have one more. And it is another fingerling. So now we have twins. This is ball number six. And I'm still looking for that dinosaur. And instead I found a cart. I'll put that together later. Cause this girl is on a mission to find rare dinosaurs. Instead, I found another ready to roll blaze speedway. So it's another one of those. What about this one? Dinosaur? No. I think it's a teeny tiny hula hoop. Yeah, it's a little tiny hula hoop. Wait, what's that? We have Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles? Is that Aang from The Last um, Airbender? I mean, Avatar, The Last Airbender. Okay, so there are definitely some other ones that I want. I totally want the Ninja Turtles and I want Aang. This is a hula hoop for like a Shopkin. I am so excited now. There are so many things to find. What? And I just found our Rubble Alive Dinosaur. This is so cool. It's a little tiny dinosaur. And if you look closely, you will see that they actually took the time to paint the eyes on this little tiny figure. I absolutely love this. Look at the back of the box. You can read stuff. Yeah, so my dinosaur collection is totally good. I've got a pretty nice little dinosaur collection here. Now we just need Ninja Turtles and uh, the last airbender, Avatar. Oh, well we found a Ninja Turtle, just not quite the one I was looking for. It's a mask. It's a little Michelangelo mask. On the back, it looks like this. Oh man, that is it. All right, we need a new one. This is number seven, down to the final three. This is another bunch of balloons. Okay, and then we have, um, what is that? Oh, it's a fingerling, but it is, but it's a narwhal. Am I saying that right? On the back, there are some illustrations and some instructions. Yay, so that was a new one. It wasn't a double, which makes me happy. And here we have Shine from Nickelodeon's Shimmer and Shine. There is a little tiny figure inside the packaging that is really, really cool. And on the back, you can see two dolls. Those are really cute. And here we have another Robo Alive. This time it is a snake. That's pretty cool. It's even on like some rocks. 
Wow. Not a huge fan of snakes, but toy snakes, uh... Only one surprise left! And we have another basket. Mm. I'm sure the baskets are great. I'm just on a mission. I need those ninja turtles. All right, ninja turtle, are you in there? Let's see. Oh, come on, there we go. <laughs> no, it's not a ninja turtle. We have some paper bags, which I don't mind actually. The paper bags are pretty cool. Yeah, those are cool. All right, but we do want the Ninja Turtle. So this is, it's another fingerling, but it's not a fingerling. It's an untamed, it's a little dragon that you can walk around with on your finger. Pretty decent variety of toys here. And that's another fingerling, okay. And then we have, we have a shimmer. Okay, so first we got shine and now we have shimmer. Looking all cute with her little pink hair. We're gonna turn the box to the side so you can see her there. And there they are on the back. Yay! And our last little surprise for this ball, we will find, I think that's Dora. It's backpack! Bella loved Dora when she was little. Oh, this brings back memories. And we're down to our very last Zuru 5 Surprise Toy Mini Brands. Dude, I am a, a little nervous here. I love opening surprise toys and surprise bags, but man, I get so worked up. This is my last one. I just want a Ninja Turtle. And I got more art supplies, which isn't bad. That's pretty cool. Art supplies are good, considering, you know, we're like artists and all. But I really want a Ninja Turtle. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! Avatar, the last airbender. We got Aang. I am so happy. I really, really wanted this one. How cool is that? Okay, now we just need a Ninja Turtle. Oh, hula hope. All right, all right, come on. Ninja Turtle, Ninja Turtle, Ninja Turtle? Okay, no, it's not a Ninja Turtle. It's another robotic dinosaur. All right, that's cool. That's cool and all. All right, is this my last one? No! Okay, here we go. And we have... Ah! Not only is it not a Ninja Turtle, it's a double. But overall, not too bad. I really enjoy opening mini brands, finding the surprises, getting excited, going on a hunt for minis. The attention to detail is really, really good. I mean, the look at the fingerlings inside the packaging. I love that. The little Robo Alive dinosaur. Personally, I could do without the carts, but that's just because they're not my preferred scale. But for the most part, the toys totally are. They are quite perfect for dolly hands, which is great because I can totally use these in the dollhouse. Well, except for the hula hoop, that's kind of small. With all of these toy mini brands, we can set up a miniature toy store, or it could just be mini toys toy collection, which sounds pretty good to me. I am definitely hoping they come back for series two with even more toys to collect. Like dolls, we need dolls. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Zuru 5 Surprise toy mini brands. Let us know in the comments down below if these toys are a buy or a pass. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye